Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Draghi. In this video, we're going to review the post-operative elbow brace used following a distal biceps tendon repair. To do this, we've incorporated the help of Carrie from the office. If you've had a distal biceps repair already, then you've probably met Carrie either in the operating room or here in the clinic. So this is our post-operative hinged elbow brace following a distal biceps repair. The point of this brace is to protect the repair from recurrent injury. Right now, we have this brace locked in 90 degrees of flexion. This is the typical position that I have patients in during their regular activities of daily living. As we had previously discussed, how much range of motion we give you and how aggressive we are with your postoperative rehabilitation is largely dependent on the amount of tension that is on the biceps repair. For the initial week following the operation, the elbow is kept locked at 90 degrees of flexion in order to allow the initial pain and swelling from the operation to improve. At one week post-op, you will return to my office so that we can discuss beginning of range of motion exercises with the brace in place. In order to do that, we're going to want to make adjustments to the dial. This is the lock button. Currently, the button is set to be locked. If we move it forward now, the brace is now unlocked and will allow basic range of motion of the elbow. I'm going to initially lock it so that we can discuss how to make adjustments to the range of motion of your elbow using the brace. There's two sides to the dial. You see the white side is labeled extension and the black side is labeled flexion. We always set the flexion to full, which is 120 degrees. However, the extension is what we are going to slowly dial out. So initially, we may have the dial set at only 60 degrees of extension. This button here is what controls the amount of extension that the brace will allow. At 60 degrees, if I unlock the brace, the brace will only go to 60 degrees and then stop. It will flex all the way up, but it will stop at 60 degrees and will not allow the arm to go any further. The starting position for your brace is largely determined by how stiff your elbow was at the time of your reconstruction. We then have patients change their extension by 10 degrees at a time, with the goal being to have the elbow all the way out straight by three weeks post-op. In order to change the dial from 60 degrees of extension down to 50, therefore giving you an extra 10 degrees of extension, you simply push the dial and move the controller one position down and it will then pop into place. This now will allow for greater range of motion or greater extension. Once we get the dial all the way to zero, it will then allow the arm to come all the way out straight. In this manner, we are controlling the speed at which we stretch your biceps repair back out to full extension. When not performing your range of motion exercises, I encourage patients to place the elbow back up into 90 degree position and lock the brace in place. You do not have to wear the sling portion of the elbow brace following the first week after the operation. Even while in the brace, remember, I do not want patients lifting anything with their operative arm. The amount of time it takes for the tendon to fully heal back into the bone is approximately six weeks. Because of that, I recommend the use of the post-operative hinged elbow brace for the first six weeks following the operation. At six weeks, we will then remove the elbow brace and begin more active range of motion exercises with formal outpatient physical therapy. I hope this video has helped you to better understand your post-operative hinged elbow brace. If you have any further questions regarding the brace or any of your post-operative exercises following your biceps repair, please do not hesitate to call our office. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a good day.